Hi, my name is Eileen Wallach, along with my companion, Audi. I am the spouse of a suicide loss. I'm also the only witness to this tragic event that occurred in our house on August 29th, 2011. My husband, Rick, was a son, a brother, a father, a grandfather, a friend, a loving southern son-in-law, a fabulous husband. His life was made up of being kind, loving, funny, empathetic, giving, honest, creative, hardworking, but full of much pain. And so his demons were stronger than him. What I know now, nine years later, about this journey we call the survivor of suicide loss, I wish I had the chance to go back and start again to help Rick. But we all know that's not possible. What I can tell you is, is that through the support of TSPN and other wonderful organizations, I have moved forward in life now, still with the hurt and pain of losing the love of my life. But now I have the ability to help others, to help stop the stigma of suicide with the knowledge I didn't have before, and to educate people of the warning signs and resources available to them and their loved ones who are struggling with their own demons. I am a voice for Rick and his life struggles. I'm a voice for others who suffer this great pain of losing someone to suicide. I'm a voice for all husbands, wives, mothers, fathers, sisters and brothers, the grandparents, the friends and family members, all the coworkers and our community at large. I love you, Rick, and I know you have no more pain. So I'll carry your pain in the fight to stop other suicides and to help those affected by the thoughts and the ideations and those that are survivors of suicide loss. But for me, the fight was just about to begin. And soon after Rick's death, I started a therapeutic art nonprofit called Your Heart on Art. After three years of its inception, I was honored to partner with the Tennessee Suicide Prevention Network to offer a statewide traveling art project yearly to anyone who has been touched by this epidemic. There is nothing simple about pain or grief. Finding the words to express how one feels can be very complicated. Colors can convey what we cannot say. The colors we choose to represent our feelings and emotions and our memories are as unique as each one of us. Please enjoy a short visual journey into the projects we have created to this date. I see him as keeping Rick alive. I believe I was meant to meet him and that his most content years of life were when we were together. And that while his demons were stronger than his angels, it made an earth angel out of me to help others to find their towards healing after a life altering change. Thank you for taking the time today to see and hear my story. I hope it brings you a little comfort and strength to you.